Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. My name is Megan George. I'm coming to you guys live from O'Fallon, Missouri, which is right outside of St. Louis. You can also call me hashtag MegalazyKeto. Uh, and I'm super excited to be making dinner with y'all. It might be a little crazy because my husband's not home, but I got a sleeping baby in a seat. So we're going to cross our fingers that he stays asleep and dogs that are seemingly peaceful. Knock on wood. But not not too loud because then they'll think somebody's knocking at the door. So as you guys are hopping on, if you guys are seeing me live, hopefully the comments work today because they weren't yesterday. If you guys see me live, you'll see this little red light up here. Go ahead and drop me a one down below in the comments. Let me know where you're coming in from because uh, I want to make sure to see. It, it just makes me really happy to see how far it reaches because I think social media is really cool that way. And I want to make sure to say hello and thank you guys for watching. So drop me a one if you're watching live if you see this little red light up here. Go ahead and drop me a two down below in the comments if you don't see the little red light. So that way I can still make sure to thank you guys for watching. Uh, and uh, because you guys matter too. So hi Margo. Hi Lacey. I literally just messaged you. Uh, Lacey's got the mom t-shirt hookup. So we're going to be buying more mom t-shirts. I don't know. I just like wearing mom graphic tees. There's something about a mom graphic tee. I worked for this title for six years through infertility and IVF. I feel like I should have like a mom graphic tee for every day of the week. If y'all agree, drop me a heart down below in the comments. Also, I need to figure out what I want to tell Tommy that I want for Mother's Day because it's my first Mother's Day and I'm so stoked, okay? So uh, if you guys have any ideas of things that I should ask for, you have to tell me down below in the comments. I do want to go to brunch and I picked out where I want to go to brunch and I went ahead and made the reservation out of habit. Plus, he doesn't really know how to do that, but he will gladly go whatever, wherever I want to, whenever I want to. So it is what it is. So we made brunch reservations, but that's all we have planned so far. But I don't even know. Mother's Day is coming up kind of soon. Isn't it May 13th? So it's like a month away. Anywho. I got to think of something good. I got to think of something real good. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kimberly. Hello. Is it Imelda? Uh, hopefully I'm saying names right. If not, you got to tell me. You got to voice message me how to say your name so that way I know how to say it because it means a lot to me to actually know how to say your name because I like to actually connect with people that watch me. Two Lisas in a row. Hello, Lisa Wales and Lisa Helms. Hi, Janet. Hi, Therese. Hello, Betsy. Uh, hello, Tanya. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Susan. And uh, two Susans in a row. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Deborah. And comments seem to be working, which is fun. So we're going to make dinner. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me, asking me for like recipe examples of what I'm doing. For those of you that don't know, oh, May 14th. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am six weeks postpartum, six and a half about, okay? Maverick was born February 23rd, so about six and a half weeks postpartum. Uh, and on my postpartum journey, I've been drinking pure therapeutic ketones and following high protein, low carb, uh, kind of in the middle uh, fats for healthy fats for filling up and feeling fuller longer. That's the way that I've been eating. And a lot of you guys have been asking for examples because I've been talking about my results and how I've lost um, 28 pounds now so far postpartum. And uh, my uh, trainer that I work with actually, so she's been helping me figure out the right foods to eat. The whole reason why I'm doing this, just so y'all know, is to, uh, oh, a birthstone ring. That would be so cute. Or a necklace. Oh, okay. Okay. I like those ideas. All the moms have all the best ideas. Tell me what your, what the, was the best Mother's Day gift you ever got? Put that down below in the comments. I would love to know. So, uh, I started working with a trainer. She's a dietitian. Whenever I went for IVF, because I really wanted to make sure that anything that I could control was good to go. So we did, uh, dairy-free, gluten-free way of eating to decrease inflammation because that helps with decreased inflammation for PCOS. I went back to her. She's actually a friend of mine, and I said, hey, I need you to help me because I want to make sure that my milk supply is high. I really was dead set on breastfeeding for a number of reasons, one of the reasons being that the formula shortage really scares the bejesus out of me to each their own. I am not here to mom shame, judge, or anything. I'm just sharing my journey, okay? And so... uh. I decided that I needed her help. So we decided to do high protein, low carb, and like 
focus on healthy fats filling in for feeling fuller longer. So that's what I've been doing down 28 pounds. It's working and it's working for my milk supply. I'm an oversupplier. For those of you that are interested in that, I'm an oversupplier. So, which is good because I wanted that. Uh, here's my reasoning why. For those of you that aren't familiar with IVF, in order to do the next round of IVF to hopefully give Maverick a sister, because we have three frozen embryos that are all girls, uh, hopefully give Maverick a sister. If y'all think that we should give him a sister, drop sis down below in the comments. If y'all think he should be an only child, drop only, because we're kind of torn in the middle right now. Uh, but to give him a sister, we would have to stop breastfeeding and have two cycles in order for him, this is what I've been told, in order to start IVF. So what I think would be really cool is if I was breastfeeding, if I stopped breastfeeding, if I had an abundance of milk frozen, he could still continue to get the benefits of breast milk, uh, but then I could focus on what I needed to do for IVF to give him a little sister. So that's the plan. Life doesn't always go to plan, so we're rolling with the punches, but that's what we got. So we're going to make a high-protein dinner. If y'all are ready, drop ready down below in the comments, and I hope you like chicken, and I hope you like pasta. Uh, one of the reasons why I love what I'm doing now is I feel like I have more freedom in foods. So this is my favorite pasta that we use for high-protein, low-ish carbs. Uh, so we're using the Bonza pasta. This is high in protein. It's made from chickpeas. Uh, they have rotini noodles. They have pen noodles. They have macaroni shell noodles. Uh, this I got at Costco. So there's five bags in here. Definitely a great price at Costco. So I have boiling water right here and I'm going to start by pouring this in. I don't think since we've moved into this house, I don't think I've made dinner with y'all. I just realized that because my setup, like I'm not used to it really. And I'm like, oh, wait, I don't think I've ever made dinner with them live in the new house. So we moved in here in October. So it's been a minute. But when I was pregnant, y'all, I could not plan dinners because one minute it would sound really good. And then the next one I would be like, that does not sound so good. Now I'm like, okay, I can, I can do this. Plus, I was so tired in my last trimester. It's so tired. The next thing we're going to do, so this is a high-protein chicken parm pasta. But what I like about this um, recipe, this is my first time trying it, is it's not like the chicken parm with tons of cheese on it. I like cheese, but the overabundance of dairy really does upset my stomach. So I took a chicken breast, chopped it up into nugget-like pieces. Okay, the next thing, we're going to have a bowl where we're going to do an egg. Let me toss this in the trash. By the way, I have this little seat for Maverick, so he's on the kitchen island. Uh, if you guys can still see me, drop a heart down below in the comments. If I'm frozen for you, hopefully I'm not, but uh, if you guys can still see me, drop some hearts down below in the comments. So I have this little seat for Maverick, and some people have asked me about it. I put it on the kitchen island all the time. I call him my little sous chef, uh, which is like an assistant chef for those of you that aren't familiar with that term. Uh, I'm only familiar with that term from working in food and beverage and hiring sous chefs. Hi, Colleen. So uh, I have this little seat for him, and it's actually from his swing. So if you know anybody that's going to be a mom, this has been one of our favorite things that we got. I'll show you guys really fast. So he's right here. The seat comes off the swing and it vibrates. So he loves to sleep in it because his bassinet vibrates. And so he'll vibrate in the seat and it feels like a bass the bassinet to him and he sleeps so good in it. And so he's my little sous chef in the kitchen. He just likes to always have eyes on his mom, which I feel so blessed. So, um... Yeah, so you can't breastfeed and, like, have reliable enough cycles to do IVF. So it's kind of either picking one or the other. It's Bonza is the pasta. So B-A-N-Z-A. I know it's backwards for y'all. B-A-N-Z-A 
I got this at Costco. If you all shop at Costco, drop a three down below in the comments. Or if you shop at Sam's, drop Sam's down below in the comments. So the next thing we're going to do, so we're dipping the chicken from the egg wash into what we're going to make next. I'm just eyeballing this because I don't measure anything, y'all. I love this pasta, too. Uh, and lots of, I've seen lots of people that are doing high protein use their products. I'm, I want to try their other stuff. But apparently they have... Pizza, mac, and rice. So, grated Parmesan. We're going to put some of that in the bowl. And I'll be honest with y'all that, like, I don't know if there's anyone else who's, you know, about to be a mom. Or maybe you know somebody that's about to be a mom. Or you're a new mom, too. Uh, but I actually don't mind pumping. I like nursing him. I nurse him more at night than anything, and I do pump during the day. Uh, for one, it gives Tommy an opportunity to do a bottle. Just providing our perspective, again, you have to do it right for you. Gives Tommy an opportunity to do a bottle and bond with Maverick, and then it gives me an opportunity to have a little bit of a break uh, and work. Uh, so there's that as well. I'm going to do some Italian seasoning in here. Um, it... Also, where was I going with that? Oh, I have the Willow Pump. So it's cordless, and it makes it so easy to pump. I swear, it's like the easiest thing in the world. So there's no cords. I'm not uh, plugged into a wall. I don't have any, like, tubes or whatever, like the Spectra Pump has. Um, so I actually don't mind it. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic powder. So Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, and a very, very, very little bit of uh, red pepper. I feel like I need more Italian seasoning, but it's coming out so slow. There we go. Italian seasoning is the best. Hi, Amy. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Beth. As you guys are hopping on, drop a one down below in the comments. Tell me where you're coming in from. Say hey, say hi. Don't be a stranger. So now we're going to do our dipping, and then we're going to put it into our pan that we are going to spray. Wrong one. With avocado oil. So little nugget pieces. I took a chicken breast and just cut it up into the egg wash bath, then into the Parmesan seasoning mix that we did, and then we're going to get a plate going so that we can put those on the skillet. So if you're just joining, drop a one down below in the comments. Tell me where you're coming in from. Say hey, say hi. Don't be a stranger. If you guys are watching this live, make sure you guys smash the share button. Share this out to a page, to a friend, or to a group. We do a share giveaway every single week. Um, sometimes I'm late with it. I appreciate y'all giving me grace. Like a lot of you guys that have followed me forever, you're like, um, pregnancy made you run a little bit behind on doing giveaways and stuff like that. Well, nobody said it to me. But I know it's happened, and I just appreciate y'all. I do the giveaways. Sometimes they're intended to do them on Monday, and sometimes they don't happen until Tuesday or Wednesday. And I know that, and I'm trying to get better at it since Maverick is here and uh, all of that. But I do do the giveaways. I always make sure to do the giveaways and send the prizes. Uh, it just sometimes is late. So thanks for allowing me to be human in that way. So we're making high protein chicken parm pasta if you're just joining. Just gonna put our little chickies pieces in. Just 
And I just used one chicken breast. This is just for Tommy and I. So it depends on what you want, like serving size wise. He'll probably have a piece of garlic bread. I will not. There is a garlic bread recipe though that's really good uh, in our group. So if you guys want to be added to that group, if you're not already in, make sure you send me a friend request and comment the word easy. It's free. There's cheat sheets, meal plans, tons of good information in there. I also have my website. So like if this is a recipe that turns out to be good, like my protein puddings and my overnight oats and all that stuff, uh, that all ends up on my website if it's good to go at megalazyketo.com. Uh, it's uh, dredge. Is that the word for it? Uh, I'm not the cook, so I have no idea if that's what it's called. My seasoning mix is grated Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. I feel like this is one of those dishes too if you guys have kids like that are picky eaters the bonza pasta is such a good option that nobody tastes the difference that it's um like a healthier pasta option like i have not met one person who actually knows i actually used the bonza pasta um to make a pasta salad for a family thing and nobody knew So I feel like you could totally get away with like using it and your kids would never know the difference that it was a healthier pasta option. Did you, have you had this bonza pasta before, Thomas? I can't remember if you tried that pasta salad that I made at your family function or no. Uh, yeah, I think so. Did, so you couldn't taste the difference then because you would have told me. Nah, it's junk, it's junk. All right. Um, this pasta, I got this big box of five bags at Costco. You can also get it at like Fresh Time or any sort of like health food grocery store, probably like Whole Foods, any Trader Joe's, things like that. Or probably check out Amazon and you might be able to find it there. Hi, Amber. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Jamie. If you guys are having on, drop a one down below in the comments. We're making dinner. We're making chicken parm pasta. Oh, right. did the mommy wake you up? I too loud. The mommy sound machine. The shh. It's not working. Are you laughing? You're doing your little rock eyebrow? Yeah, the one eyebrow up. Wanda, I don't know if you're still on here, by the way, but you got us on a Tommy Tippy uh, bottle love. That's the bottle that we ended up we're using now. We started with it because you sent us one, and we started with that one, and now we're like, oh, yeah, this bottle does really well. Thank you for that, by the way. That's what I meant to say. My, I didn't finish my thoughts. Are you trying to poop? Oh, Walmart has it. Good call. I was just there yesterday, but I wasn't paying enough attention in the food section for sure.
Yeah, they're really good bottles. I did not realize that. We got the kind system. Um, and I love the kind system. It's uh, you pump directly into the bag and then uh, just attach it to the bottle. And all you have to wash is the nipple. But I'm not using the Spectra pump, so I can't pump directly into the bag. So it's kind of lost its, its, uh, its luster, if that makes sense, because I'm not pumping directly into the bag. Also, I'm the kind of person who I like to do the dishes as I go and not have a mess. Y'all tell me, are you the same down below in the comments or not? I like to put stuff away as I go. So that way when I'm done live, since y'all know this is my job, like making content is my job, I like to make sure that I'm putting stuff away as I go so when I'm done live, I can eat dinner and then I can chill because my uh, content is done for the day and I'm good to go. And that's how I was able to really rock this business too whenever I had a full-time job and was coaching volleyball. That's really what helped me. So, can I see some of your coated chicken parm pieces before you cook them? That's them. Yeah, time management, exactly. I made my other protein pudding today. I got some trials packed today. I got some launch packets sent out for the team. Uh, I checked my P.O. box today. We had a good day, huh, Math? Did we have a good day? We did. You want to say hi to your fan club? Because I feel like Mommy's Facebook is just the Maverick fan club anymore. If y'all agree, drop Mav down below in the comments. I feel like Mommy's Facebook turned into Mav's fan club. Do you want to see them? You want to say hi? Let mommy see if these chicken pieces are done. You want to say hi? It's almost as if you're waving. Are you waving? You see that cute baby on that screen? <gasps> Who's that cute baby? Who is that cute baby with them pretty blue eyes? Can you say hi? Yeah? That's it? That's all you want to show him? <laughs> it is the best. He's the best, aren't you? Are you the best baby? I tell him that all the time. I tell him every single day. You're the best baby, the bestest, cutest. Oh, he just tooted really loud. Y'all missed it. The bestest, cutest, strongest, smartest baby in the whole world. We have to do affirmations. They're going to set in eventually. Oh, Jovi, so cute. Hi, Carrie. All right, me. So we're making high protein chicken parm pasta. If you guys are just tuning in, we've got our bonza pasta being cooked and our little chicken nugget, Parmesan chicken nugget pieces, basically cooking. We're about to drain our pasta. Oh, you want to get to? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, look, Daddy came in in just the nick of time. Yeah. Hello, Lorette. Hi, Deb. Hi, Amy. 
Oh, thank you, Amy. Hi, yeah, Kelly. Dude, I love you. Dude, I love you. <laughs> Are you laughing at your daddy? Come on, boy. Daddy, thank you. Oh, Lacey, that's so sweet. All right, we're going to drain our pasta. Time to eat. Um, if he's hungry, he can eat at like 5.30. 5.30. So, I mean... You don't want to wait till 5.30? You can do whatever you want. Oh, thanks, Deanna. Hi, Eva. Hello, Felicia. We're making high-protein chicken parm pasta. So I used the Bonza pasta that I got from Costco. If you guys drop there, drop a three down below in the comments. They're all saying hi, babe. Uh, well, Lacey's saying hi. And uh, um, using Bonza pasta that I got from Costco, I did a chicken breast, cut it up into little nugget pieces. Um, and then uh, used... Uh, Grated Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, crushed red pepper flakes, just a little bit. Uh, did an egg wash and then dumped it, dunked them into that. Uh, and then I'm cooking them on the skillet really fast. And then I'm going to drain my pasta, put the sauce in. I'm going to use this Rouse sauce and then um, put it all together. Lacey. Lacey's the one who, you remember, I'm like, oh, we're going to go meet them at a Royals game and like, Oh, yeah, the KC people for Kansas people? Yes. Are you using anything in the skillet you cook the chicken in? Yes, avocado oil. You say hello. Say hello. <laughs> yeah, you say hi to all them. And again, this recipe, like, if it's a good one, if it turns out good, basically if Tommy gives his stamp of approval, it ends up on the website. So megalazyketo.com. You can subscribe so that way you get notifications every time a recipe is posted there. We're going to turn this just on simmer. We're going to start putting some of the pasta sauce in. Avocado oil in the skillet, yes. way our pasta sauce can start to warm up. Hi, Christy. I sent Christy some mail today. What you doing, Bubba? What you doing? You wiggling? Thank you, Tanya. I told them uh, if they think that Maverick should have a sister to put sis in the comments. That was part of our conversation. Yeah. We're going to wait to make a, like, a for sure, for sure decision because I think we keep going back and forth. And somebody, our neighbor said it. He said, uh, I'm going to ask you at the one year mark because that's normally when you're going to be able to make like the best decision is at the one year mark. I think we'll do it though. If I had to bet, I would bet that we go back for another round of IVF. What do you think? If you had to wager a bet right now. With who? With yourself. Do you think we would have a sister or no? We have a sister. I already have one. Well, we would have Maverick have a sister. Yeah, she crazy. Yeah, I've already gave you my thoughts on that. That we would use the embryos that we have left but not do another retrieval. So for those of you unfamiliar with IVF, because we did not know anything about it whenever we started really, the egg retrieval piece is the most expensive and it's honestly the most grueling part on your body. So it's actually, it's funny because a year ago today, a year ago tomorrow is when we did our egg retrieval and I told him I, I felt like a hen like about to lay eggs. I was so heavy. I walked into the doctor's office, bent over, in so much pain. Um, so we are not going to take it. So it's a really good question. We're very open about our journey. We're not going to 
try to conceive naturally. A lot of people after IVF, depending on the reason that you do IVF, for a lot of people, they can conceive naturally after IVF, and it tends to happen easier, apparently, than your body kind of knows what to do, knows what to expect, gets used to it, and can conceive. For us, we had two ectopic miscarriages the year before we did IVF, which is why we did IVF. I don't want to take a risk because, um, for one, the second time I had the ectopic, uh, I was in the emergency room three times. Uh, I could have blown a tube. I could have lost all of my reproductive organs. You can die from it. Um, and then on top of that, this isn't to get into politics, but some of the stuff that's happening at a political level makes it to where, uh, like, there's been females that I personally know in the state of Missouri who haven't had access to the medicine that's needed to help with an ectopic, and they've had to push it and wait till surgery, and they've lost tubes. Just because doctors are getting uncomfortable with some stuff, it's not, again, I don't talk politics on my page, but that's just why we're making the decision that we are. So, uh, we would go back and do IVF, plus we have three embryos that are really good quality waiting for us that are frozen, that are all girls. So that's exciting. Although, y'all, I will tell you, I thought, like, oh, my God, I'm totally going to have a girl. I need to have a girl, 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 girl. I love being a boy mom. Like, picking out boy clothes is so much fun. It's so much fun. I think I just like being your mom, though. I like being a boy mom, but I love being your mom. Yes, Maverick means a sister. All right, all of our chicken is done. So now our sauce is here. Okay. We're going to put our pasta in the sauce. Probably going to add a little bit more sauce. How long before that? Probably like five minutes. Really, I just have to put it all together. Tommy's been working in the yard. It's been really, really nice weather here, so he's been taking advantage and working in the yard. Y'all, what I want to try, I'm not going to try it this time because Tommy doesn't like cottage cheese, but I've seen, you guys tell me if you've seen this or not, people take the Rayo sauce and add cottage cheese to it in a blender, and it makes it, like, creamier. I don't know. I think I might have to try that. Or maybe like some ricotta cheese, because he will eat that. He does not like cottage cheese. Put our chicken pieces in. What do you need, Bubba? And now, if you want to, and you're like a cheese fanatic, you could totally top this with some Parmesan cheese. And there you have it. So, that's it. High-protein pasta without the guilt because it's also low-carb. Of course, not keto-friendly because we're not keto around here. We just drink ketones we put into a state of ketosis. So, that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to go because Maverick's about to start crying. And we don't want that, do we? Come here. Come here, my love bug. Can we say bye? Can we say bye and then we can go? You want to say bye really fast? Say bye-bye. We love you. We hope you have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow.